Okay, hey, good afternoon. It is Monday, May, what, 16th, and so this is the beginning of Options Expiration Week, and also um, you got Powell tomorrow and uh, Walmart earnings, you know, retail sales, and, you know, so there's a good bit yet still going on this week, uh, VIX expiration just in front of the OPEX at the end of the week, etc., so this is what happened today, which is really nothing. Um, started out here about you know 4,000 change, whatever in the S&P broke 3980 up to the overnight high 49, uh, 40 and 40 like two, and then back in the middle. This says nobody was interested in doing anything of significance today. We tried lower, we tried higher, came right back into the middle. You know nothing to it. All right. So switch to daily chart real quick. I'm gonna take this up to a weekly in terms of periodicity. Uh, in order to make a point, and that is that, all right, this is, you read anywhere, you're going to read six weeks of selling, all right, well, it's really seven, because this one that started this whole thing was a high for the move made on selling, um, meaning it was, you know, high for the move, sellers took over, drove it down, finished week, took out the low immediately, and started this, you know, started this onslaught of then thereafter six weeks of selling. At the bottom, we've got the mirror image, though, of what we had at the top. This is lows for the move made on buying. And so that begs the question, is it time finally for a bounce? Well, of course, I don't know, but I've got a plan for that if that's the case. Um, starts out the week here, the weekly open at uh, 40 and call it 25 or so. And if I get to switch real quick, I want to go to a different view. All right. This is uh, last Thursday, Thursday on the left, last Thursday into Friday, and you can see that there was a gap from the um, from the close on Thursday to the RTH open on Friday. That mid, look at that mid. Okay, the high was what 39.30 by low here at 60, which is 30 points wide, right? 15 is the middle. Well, what's the middle right there? But remember how important the 39.50s were? Well, so let's call it. 39.45. Uh, that is, to me, that's line in the sand for this week. All right, so what we do is we're going to dip down and touch off on 39.45 and bounce. That's That That would be that'd be a bullish case, all right? Bearish case would be that it trades into this, bounces a little bit, and then immediately rolls through it. Then that we have to prepare for that as well. But um, what I want to... What I want to go back to I want to prepare for a bullish case right we've been bearish for go back to the weekly we've been bearish for a while you know I mean you can't be you can't you know I mean you can't stay bearish every day forever I mean this has been bearish for a while trading this thing all the way from 43 or something all the way down to targeting you know 3900 um, look I mean you know, it's six or seven weeks of selling here. Got an excess on the low there. Today is inside range. Options expiration end of the week. Tomorrow, Powell, you know, Walmart earnings, the whole deal this week. So, so what I want to try to do is figure out, okay, if bearish, then what target? If, if bearish, then of course, what target on the low? And then if bullish, what, you know, would target be on the up? and make a plan for each. So my plan for the top would be a trade that breaks into 39.45, holds that gap mid, catches a bid. We will feel like uh, we're on to something when you see this next number, write it down. 40.69, 40.69, why 40.69? I'll show you 40.69 because we're gonna go to futures and we're gonna get the RTH data only and we're going to see that last week's high in the RTH was 40.69. That would end the weekly one-time framing lower, a trade of beating 40.69, right? So 39.45 holds, rotates up, takes out um, first and foremost today's high, 40.42, which was also the overnight high last night. Beat that target is to breach 4069. Take out 4069 and we're on the way back up. All right, so then in that case, 
You've got over under down here for the bounce. Reason for that, gap mid, etc. We start to rotate up. We take out 4069 and we start to target these these levels right up here. I'll tell you what I really think, but first and foremost, this 382 retrace on the weekly chart, that level would be 4155. If you remember, we already had in mind 4160 as a value area high from up there. And then 4220. 41 whatever you want to call it, 4160 and 4220. I mean, 41, you know, you got the targets. All right. Now, uh, should this um, be bearish, then in my estimation, what it's going to do in order to be bearish, and I really don't see it, but hey, I got to prepare for it. Uh, it's, look, it's ready for a bounce. I mean, but look, if it, if it's going to continue down, then um, we need to stay shy of breach of this last week's RTH high, which would mean that it's not really to take out uh, 4069, which essentially means, remember the other pr price up here that we've got on our mind that we've been very mindful of, 4050, remember that, right? Okay, so that means that it gets really super tangled in that 4050, unable to take out that 4069 and starts down, okay? Well, you'll feel like, you know, you'll feel like you're on to something at that time if then able to go south through that weekly line in the sand, which is 39.45. That's my weekly line in the sand anyway. Everybody can do whatever they want, but that's what I'm saying. That's my line in the sand. Bulls versus divides bulls from bears on the week is 39.45. And if that's the case and it gets through there, likely not taking out this prior week's high, but getting uh, frisky on the downside, not able to hold 39.45, but trading through there, that's when you're going to feel like you're on to something on the bear side. And in that case, I think what we're going to target down here is going to be twofold. Um, it is going to be 38. 05 and 3740 what did i have 3740 like two um call it 3745 i think i had a level I, I was looking at some volume levels back here that looked like it was like 3742 or something like that but just basically 3805 and 3745 all right so that would be on the um Yeah, I'm gonna call that. Yeah, 3805 and 3745. Listen, it can it can do that, you know, and it may quite it may well end up doing that. That's my backup plan, though, to be honest. I mean, you know, if if it, uh, I you know, I got to be prepared for what if on either, but also kind of have to have, you know, a lean, uh, an opinion, and. Um, and, I'm, and I, I try not to really impress too much of my own opinion uh, in here because, of course, if it doesn't work, then I'm going to get a bunch of nasty emails and what. But, um, but look, this is about seven weeks of selling, and I've got the mirror opposite of what happened at the highs. Highs for the move on selling, week closed, took out the low, and then triggered off this six weeks of then follow-through selling. I've got the inverse of that down here at the bottom. I've got a low for the move on buying with a you know pretty good wick bottom and a decent close. Reach up here, take out this uh, RTH weekly high, 4069, take that out. And it starts to work its way, in my opinion, starts to work its way back up on these, uh, on these uh, fib retracements, 4160 and 4220. That's, uh, that's the plan, that's what I've got. But, uh, but here's the thing, you know, going back to today, and take a look at you know today's price action today today tells us in my opinion today tells us that um there's nobody interested in anything all right i mean it ended where it started it tried lower and it tried higher and it came back into the middle um these lows it, it appears for the week these lows are not low enough right and to find a real, you know, uh, committed buyer, or it would have been a lot better than than it was, right? I mean, it wouldn't have rejected and come all the way back into the middle of these lows. I don't think they were good enough. So that's why I've got that line in the sand down there where I've got it, and uh, look for that to maybe uh, come in and test and bounce off of that, and then you know from there we're looking uh, pretty, you know, that's that's pretty nicely higher. I mean, at that point we're talking about. 
couple hundred points up into like 42.20. So that's what I got. Good uh, good trading this week. Hope it uh, starts out okay, and then we'll have a uh, little update midweek and see how things are going from there. Till then, take care. Without simpler trading, I could not have financial independence. This is one of the best investments that I ever made in my life. It's helping me find consistency. It's one of the things that won me 